Hello, my name is Andy and today I'm going to be doing a video on nasal congestion. So if you suffer with a general stuffiness of the nose, itching, sneezing or a lot of nasal discharge, this video might be for you. So as always, all the information in this video is going to be for educational purposes. So if you do suffer with um, nasal congestion, go speak to your GP and they can diagnose it for you. Um, but the type of nasal congestion that I'm going to be discussing today is something called allergic rhinitis. So this affects one in five in the UK, so it's a very common condition. Uh, it's normally caused by particles within the air, um, irritating or causing an allergic reaction within the, net, within the nose. So this can be due to a really common one is pollen. So um, if your nose congestion is seasonal, then you may have this type of allergic rhinitis, but it also can be due to dust. It also can be due to dander. So this is a substance or particle found on animals in their saliva, on their skin. Um, so if you've got animals, this uh, might be a potential cause. So I've suffered with nasal congestion over many years. Um, it started getting worse when I moved into uh, my first house um, and I think this was probably a combination of an increase in the amount of dust uh, within the house. Um, also it's when I got my first cat. So this is my cat Merlin, so I've had him for seven years. Now every time he scratches or licks himself, um, he releases cat dander um, into, the, into the air, into my house. So I've tried to do or um, take things to try to help with this reaction. So things that I've tried are um, nasal decongestants, so the ones that you sort of spray up the nose. Um, now I found in the short term these can be effective, but um, over time you find that they have a reduced effect on nasal congestion. Um, also, if you use it enough, you can get something called a rebound effect. So this is when the actual decongestion runs out your nose actually becomes more blocked. So in the long term, it's not a solution. Um, and then otherwise, I started looking at potential supplements that can maybe help my nasal congestion. So I found a great supplement called spirulina. Um, there was a study done in 2008 that took 129 people. They split them into two different groups. One was given a placebo, the other one was given spirulina. And they recorded their symptoms over six months. Um, they were given two grams of spirulina a day. Um, and they found that there was clinically significant reductions in their symptoms of things like itchiness, nasal discharge, sneezing. So it was a really, um, really interesting study, especially considering the magnitude of effects that spirulina had on their symptoms. Um, unfortunately, there has only been really this one study, even though it was a very well designed study. I'm not sure why there haven't been other studies that have led on to this, especially considering how common nasal congestion is. So you might be thinking, what is spirulina? Spirulina is a blue-green algae, um, and then this has been condensed down into tablet form, so you can take it as a supplement. Um, now you may be thinking that I'm being a little bit over-enthusiastic about spirulina, but it's also had a lot of research um, done, um, looking at other effects that it has on the body. Um, also, even NASA is considering it as a sustenance for their astronauts on space flight. So there, there's definitely some good positive effects that this has on the body. So other effects that spirulina can have on the body are that it can dramatically reduce blood pressure, LDL, triglycerides, while raising HDL levels within the body. Now, Spirulina can be taken in two forms, so it can be taken as a powder or it can be taken as a tablet form, which is this is what this comes in. Now I much prefer this form just because it's very quick and convenient in the morning, so I just take it with a load of water, just quick, and it's part of my supplement routine. Um, you can take the powder version, um, but it doesn't taste nice. You can mix it into your smoothies. Um, or other meals to try to reduce uh, the taste, um, but that's why I think that just tablet form is a lot easier. Now this product is $11.99, so I've done a lot of research um, online to try to find what I, I thought was the most sort of reasonably priced product, but also with good quality. Um, and this, will, this one packet of $11.99 will last you around about five to six months. So I just think this is an absolute bargain for what you're getting and the potential positive effects that it will have on the body. Now, I hope you've really enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe the video. Um, also, if you do take this supplement um, and you do have uh, some good or bad effects, please put it in the comment section below and let us know how you got on. 
Thanks very much for watching.